Welcome to the True Parents Way video series on the Chanelguk Constitution. I'm Tyler Hendricks. This is episode seven, the noblest and most generous model of government. Father Moon said that true love brings about spiritual order, peace, and happiness. His ideal for true love was that of parent and child. That's the example he always used. The love of a mother nursing her baby at her breast. Love expressed through sacrifice as when, with pleasure, a child acts with filial piety toward his or her parents. John Adams, American founder, said the same thing. The noblest principles and most generous affections of our nature bring about the noblest and most generous models of government. Mr. Adams' ideal, however, was not parent-child love, quite the opposite. The people of America, John Adams wrote, had been educated in an habitual affection for England as their mother country, but when they found her a cruel beldam, meaning a malicious and ugly old woman, it is no wonder that their filial affections ceased. Adams said that this radical change was the real revolution. It's in his writings. Thus, parent-child love went to America's back burner. It took true parents to bring it back. They conquered false parental love and established the position of true parents, not just in the family, but in the tribe, the nation, the world, and the cosmos. The leadership of true parents is a radical reversal of the way of this world. Our Constitution's preamble is our declaration of independence from false parental love. In it, we declare that God sent to this earth the revered couple of Sun Myung Moon and Hak Jahan as the Savior, Messiah, returning Lord, and the true parents of humankind. They recovered the Word of God, fulfilled the ideal of all religions, and bequeathed the true love, true life, and true lineage of God eternally throughout the cosmos. In the preamble, we declare that True Parents' course of unfathomable sacrificial indemnity and devotion is our model. In the preamble, we enact this constitution as the framework for the sake of achieving the universal and substantial daily life system, family system, national system, and world system of Chanilguk, the kingdom of God on earth. This system is the law, the norm, and the guideline for ideal families who attend God and true parents with love that transcends the barriers of religion, national borders, race, gender, and culture. And just as the American Declaration concludes with a pledge, this preamble concludes with our pledge. We'll explore that next. Thank you for listening. We'll continue next week.